I posed a question to Harvard and MIT students concerning the concept of grounding in the context of circuit analysis and physics. Their unscripted answers are presented. The question is on the following slide. I also offer a clear and concise explanation to help you better understand grounding. Do you understand grounding? All right, so here are the two questions I asked. One, explain what grounding is in the context of physics. Two, will these two circuits behave the same or differently? Explain why. Here are two circuits. They're simple circuits. They have a one volt power supply or battery and a one kilo ohm resistor. The only difference is the negative terminal of this resistor is attached to ground, where for this circuit, there's no ground attachment. So once again, the question is, will these circuits behave the same or differently? And can you explain why? Now's a good time to pause the video and try to answer the questions of you. In this video, I'll first explain the concept of grounding and provide a clear definition. Next, I'll share responses from various Harvard and MIT students. First of all, what is grounding? Grounding in electronic devices means connecting a part of the device to a very low resistance path that leads to a metal rod in the ground. In this picture, this is a grounding rod. It's a metal rod, it's normally about eight to 10 feet below ground. A grounding path is formed by a metal rod that extends into the ground. The third hole in the electric outlet, known as the ground, serves as a very low resistance connection to the rod. This third hole in the electric outlet has a low resistance path that leads to this grounding rod. The earth is a vast electric container holding both positive and negative charges in nearly equal amounts due to its size. Its immense size enables it to neutralize any incoming charge. If we introduce a positive or negative charge to the earth, the change in voltage is minuscule. Now I wanna give a wire example of grounding. Every house has an electric distribution panel. Here's an example of an electric distribution panel, and you can see there's this thing which is labeled the grounding bar. Well, this grounding bar is a metal bar which is attached with a low resistance connection path that goes to this grounding rod, which is obviously some, somewhere outside of the house. And then there are copper wires which are attached to the grounding bar, and those copper wires are fed through the distribution box, and they're led all throughout the house and attached to the third terminal on the electric outlet um, which is known as the ground. Imagine here is an electric motor. If the electric motor runs and is not grounded, then leakage current would cause the outside metal case of the electric motor to charge up. And if you went and touched the electric motor, you would get an electric shock. And so if it's grounded as the charge forms on the outside case, the case is grounded, which means that charge will funnel off and follow the whole path and eventually end up at the ground rod and go into earth. And so one reason we ground things is for electrical safety. Now, it's important to see the full picture, and so there's two paths. Power company sends high voltage, and then that high voltage goes into the electric distribution box, and, um, and then the high voltage is distributed throughout your house, but it doesn't go to the grounding ports, it goes to the high voltage ports, to high voltage terminals on the electric outlets. And so all together, there's the grounding path, which goes from the grounding rod, to the grounding terminals, the, um, the third hole in the electric outlet, and then there's the high voltage path, which goes from the power company to the high voltage ports on the electric outlets. These two circuits would behave the same or differently? Oh, wild. I feel like the same in this case. You are right. Um, um, why do you think they'd behave? Do you want to do so? Yes, that is correct. Um. Oh, I feel like the ground somehow more controls power surges or I'm not quite sure what it, but like here, like the, the path that it has to go through is still the same. Like the ground, it doesn't like connect back up. So it's not like redirecting. That is a very good answer. Yeah. That's a good answer. Like a lot of yeah. chargers, like you'll notice like some of them have the ground plug and some of them don't and they work the same. So that's another like. Do you know what grounding is? I think it's like you, you connect it to like a very large like a uh, body so that like uh, extra electrons can kind of drain out if things get like too high in, in voltage. Yi Chen. And where are you from? Um, I'm from China. And what do you study? Um, chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah. You, what year are you? Um, I'm a second year grad student. Oh, you're a grad student? Yeah. Grounding. Grounding. Do you know what that is? Um, this symbol? Have you ever seen that symbol? Oh, oh I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I mean, this might be hard because it's to explain it in yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you so, understand what grounding is? Yes, that means you like connect it to the earth and make the potential of the of that equals to the potential of the earth, like the earth. Perfect. Yes. yes. That is perfect. Acephysics.org. Math and physics tutoring with Dr. Hudis. 
you ever heard of grounding? I have. Okay, what is your, basically the question is, what is your understanding of grounding? Grounding, grounding is ground? when, when you have like a charged object and then when you ground it, like all the charge goes to the ground to make it like neutral. What is grounding? Any type of explanation, any type of thought on what is grounding? My understanding is that it's just like completing the loop, basically. Like, there, you need to go from high to low, mm -hmm. and grounding is either the high or low, it doesn't really matter, but... Okay. But what are you going to say? I think I'd say it the same. I don't think it's like a definite, like, z this is zero voltage or anything. It's just where you would want the current to flow, and that's kind of like where you... Uh -huh. Yeah. Or well, literally just, you know, can connect something to the ground mm -hmm. and have the potential at that point to be uh, exactly zero. Yep. Um, will it make a difference? Just give me one second to think. Sure. Can you explain these advanced topics related to grounding? These are questions for the comment section, and if you can answer these questions, then you really understand grounding. These are more advanced topics in grounding. Grounding can be used to shield from electromagnetic and radio frequency interference. This is known as EMI shielding. Can you explain how this works? What is a dedicated ground? Why is it essential for devices requiring low voltage? Explain what leakage current is and how equipment components can become charged through it. And um, finally, the answer to the second question is, will these two circuits behave the same? The answer is yes, they'll behave the same. It's only change in potential energy that matters. And so, yes, these behave the same way. I'm standing in front of the statue of John Harvard. If you rub his feet, that's good luck because it's too hard to rub anything else. 